Tim Goring here, making luck with Sandler, talking about Sandler rule number 42. Exhaust your list of concessions before you discount the price. So I'm going to always start with maybe I can change the product or the service mix before I get into discounting price at all. So here's some rules for concessions. Give them slowly. Encourage them to go first. I'm always going to empower them, see if they've got something in mind. You never know. Keep yours hidden. Conserve your concessions. Right? Maybe start with some kind of token concession. Never give a concession without getting an IOU, something in return. And be okay saying no. You've got to know when you're dealing with a master negotiator. And when you develop that walkaway presence, it'll give you power. If you can't win, don't fight. Retreat, gain strength, fight again another day, Sun Tzu, right? <laughs> and don't be ashamed. There's nothing wrong with that. So I call this SEC negotiations just so I can remember it. First thing I'm going to do is struggle. Give them an emotional flinch like that. Like, oh, I just don't know if I can do that. A lot of people were just testing me anyway. After I struggle, I might empower them. Well, you probably had something in mind. Let's, let's see if we're even close. See what they have in mind. And then the, the C and SEC struggle, um, in, empower them, is to make a concession. But I'm never going to do that without getting something in return. That's why I want to brainstorm those ahead of time. Maybe it's some, some sort of trade for something they've got that you want. Maybe, maybe it's something simple like a Google review or a testimonial or an introduction to somebody else. Maybe it's future business. But there's some sort of commitment there. Maybe it's just time related. Like I won't start this project until it's better for me. Or maybe it's effort related. Let's say I'm doing your garage for you. You get all the stuff out of there. So there's always something you can get in return, but I've got to figure that out before I'm in the heat of the negotiation. All right, make it a great day.